Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan holding a late night address said very clearly he's not going to resign. He's going to take his chances with the trust vote that happens on Sunday. But Imran Khan was brought to power with a very specific dream that he sold to Pakistanis of a Naya Pakistan. He clearly hasn't achieved that. He's had an extremely turbulent career as Prime Minister. And in our next report, we decode exactly that. The many, many lows of Imran Khan, the Prime Minister. On the day Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered his troops to march into Ukraine, he had a visitor. The Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan came calling. For the first time in 23 years, a Prime Minister from Pakistan had paid a visit to the Kremlin. What a time I've come. So much excitement. The scheduled meeting was for one hour, but it stretched to three. It was the beginning of Putin's Russia being cornered by the Western powers. And Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's visit turned out to be a show of solidarity. It served both parties, because back home in Pakistan, Imran Khan too was being cornered politically by a united opposition. The man who came to power promising a Naya Pakistan or a new Pakistan, halfway into his term as the 22nd Prime Minister, is facing removal. Pakistan's economy is in deep crisis. The pandemic has not helped. And the prosecution of opposition leaders added to Imran Khan's dwindling popularity. Police ke through unhone parliamani lodges pe hamla karke show of force kiya aur jo dhamki Khan Saab 26th 27th February ka de rahe hain ki agar koi member ne apna vote ka haq istemal karna hai to unke karkun ke beech se jana padega wo bhi ek threat hai use of force ka. The Prime Minister of Pakistan responded with his own jibes. Cornered at home, Imran Khan showed a brave face to the world at the recent Organization of Islamic Cooperation meet held in Islamabad. Imran Khan urged leaders of the Islamic nations to mediate in the war in Ukraine. May I suggest that uh, the OIC, during its discussions, the foreign ministers, we should think about how we the one point, represent 1.5 billion people, how we can med mediate, how we can bring about a ceasefire, how we can try and put an end to the conflict. I'm going to meet uh, His Excellency Wang Yi uh, after this. And I want to discuss how maybe OIC along with China, how we can all step in and try to stop this, this uh, conflict, which is going to have, if it keeps going the way it is, it will have great consequences for the rest of the world. But however much Imran Khan puts up a brave face looking outwards, inwards at home, the rallies against him only keep growing. Because just like in a jungle, in politics too, the opponents have smelt blood. And the opposition parties of Pakistan are not going to let up till Imran Khan's fate gets decided on the floor of the house.